Grand rising, my beautiful friends. So today is a very dreary um, Thursday, but I got up early today, which I'm very excited about. Luna's well, not even up yet. Um, what time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. Perks of getting up late this entire week means Luna stays in bed for a very long time, and also she went to bed super late. But um, I am making breakfast. My glasses are so small. Um, but I got up and I already made Luna her breakfast. Because I kind of thought she would wake up when I started cooking, but clearly that hasn't happened. And I'm making my breakfast right now, which I'm so excited about. I've honestly been thinking about it since last night. So I have my fave chickpea omelet. It is great. Um, and I just have some vegan cheese in there. And then I just sauteed up some onions and mushrooms. And I just added some spinach, gonna wilt that down. Um, I just really simply seasoned this with um, salt and some garlic powder. And then <laughs> a little bit of burntness. Um, but then I also added a little bit of the coconut aminos um, teriyaki flavor. To the beat. Yeah, um, life has been really crazy lately, um, and I will update you guys. I have this plant. <laughs> I got a bunch of plants um, the other day, and recently, because they were on sale, actually at Aldi, um, there were some that were like 99 cents on sale, and then at Sprouts, I decided to get myself another Puffas plant, but I'll show you guys that. But I did want to share this little mantra. Um, I have this... I think that's emailed to me every day. Um, I have Abraham Hicks um, daily quotes that are emailed to me every day. And then I also have today's mantra from I Am Mantra. And today's mantra is, I am focusing my attention on what I want to create for myself, my health, and my life. Yeah, I think it's supposed to rain today. Um, maybe a little bit later, but I do want to try to take one outside because we haven't gone outside very much lately because it's been, literally Satan's butthole. So we've been kind of avoiding going outside unless we're like in a pool. So yeah, and also this week, I've just been kind of chilling, letting myself take a break. I'm no longer working where I was previously working. I'm just gonna say that now and then in a separate video, I'll get a little bit more in depth of like the why and all that jazz. I filmed my nighttime skincare routine, so I'm gonna put that at the end of this video because I wanted to share that with you guys. I've been very much focused on my skincare lately, um, getting a little bit more back into makeup, um, but definitely more focused on my skincare um, as of late. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my nighttime skincare routine. I've gotten a lot more interested in skincare as of late. I've been really super inspired by Korean skincare. I don't do a full 10 step skincare system as of right now. Um, if I'm feeling a little extra, then maybe sometimes I'll do that. But um, these are just the things that I do every night and that I have seen the most difference um, in my skin with adding into my routine. So one of the biggest things about Korean skincare, the biggest focuses is removing your makeup. I would love to use a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, but I haven't been able to get my hands on one yet. Um, so to remove my makeup, I like to use a cleansing water and I just use that on a cotton round and I'm not wearing any makeup today, but I'm still going to go ahead and 
do a little bit of a double cleanse um, just to make sure that I get all of the residue and any dirt and oil and stuff like that off of my face. And then the next step, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my normal facial cleanser. Um, I kind of rotate between different cleansers, um, mainly from Pacifica. I do like to try to use mainly cruelty-free and vegan skincare products. Um, I'm still getting rid of a lot of stuff and I don't want to throw anything away or waste anything so um, I'm still finishing up a lot of products but I'm just using this cleanser from Pacifica I don't really have anything crazy to say about it it cleans my skin really nicely it doesn't completely strip my skin which is really important and it doesn't have any super harsh ingredients in it that irritate my skin at all another thing that I like to do when I am cleansing my skin is to try and cleanse my skin for around one minute um, I was going through a period where I was actually timing myself while I was doing my skincare or while I was washing my face but uh, I kind of stopped doing that and I kind of just like go by instinct now when I'm washing my face I think that that's a good practice to have just to make sure that you're actually cleansing your skin properly and your skincare is actually able to do the work that it needs to do and you're not just rinsing it off right away the next step in my skincare routine is exfoliation. So I'll do two different things when it comes to exfoliating. One of them is this lovely skin brush that was actually sent to me by this awesome company maybe once or twice a week, depending on what I feel like. I feel like I am going to use it a little bit more during the winter time, but today I am going to be using a chemical exfoliant. Uh, chemical exfoliants are something that I'm only really recently getting into and learning more about. I was kind of scared to use them at first, but I did a lot of research and tried to find a product that would work the best for me. Um, I really love this glycolic toner from The Ordinary. It is a chemical exfoliant and it's super gentle. It doesn't dry out my skin um, and it's really awesome for getting rid of dead skin cells. I do have skin that's a little bit more on the drier side and I find that I do need to exfoliate a little bit more often and you'll see me kind of like trying to dry off my skin a little bit with this tiny book that I have. The next thing is another product that I'm super in love with. I'm pretty much in love with all of this stuff except for one thing that I want to tell you about in a minute. Um, but this next product is actually from e.l.f. and I actually like a lot of e.l.f. skincare products and in essence it's basically going to prep your skin for all of the products that you're going to be putting on top of it and I find that it's just a really nice step especially after toning your skin because I find that that can dry out my skin a little bit. Um, Essence kind of adds a little bit more moisture back into my skin. Bless you, that was my child. I just put a little bit of that into my hands and pat that into my skin. And I do like to layer this, so I'll do like two layers minimum. Um, if I'm feeling a little crazy, sometimes I'll do like five layers, which is completely probably unnecessary, but you know. We like to do these things sometimes. And I do like to put it on my neck and my chest um, because that's just what we need to do. All right, so this next step is something that I am actually not going to keep in my routine. I've kind of been in denial when it comes to this product. I have really wanted to like The Ordinary's Niacinamide and Zinc serum but every time i put it on my face i get breakouts and like i said i was very much in denial about it because i've heard such amazing things about it but my skin reacts to it and i finally uh figure that out because after I filmed this video, I uh, had the worst breakout that I've had in a while. So I'm not gonna be using this product anymore. I am going to try to find another serum to add to my routine. I think I might try to find a vitamin C serum. The next step is going to be moisturization, which is another favorite step of mine. I have tried time and time again to try different moisturizers and I honestly just keep coming back to this one. It's honestly just a super thick and creamy moisturizer. It has vitamin E in it, which is amazing for my skin. 
I've tried multiple times to use um, supposedly really hydrating moisturizers with hyaluronic acid. My skin does not like hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Actually, I have another serum that's hyaluronic acid that my skin is not a fan of. It dries out my skin, which is the opposite of what I want it to be doing. So I try to avoid that in my skincare products. Um, but this moisturizer has been very good to me and makes my skin feel really radiant and not like the parched desert or like that episode of spongebob where he needs water and then the, the last step to kind of seal everything in i don't necessarily do every day just kind of if i feel like i need it um is a little bit of argan oil i love argan oil that's pretty much it for my skincare routine i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys would like to see an in-depth video of me talking about my different skincare products i can definitely do that and if you would like for me to do a morning skincare routine, it's pretty much the same thing. I just leave some of the steps out. Um, but yeah, this is my basic routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.